Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile2708 back again with another rebuilding the collection video. Now myself and Ghostlu went out today um, and we were kind of, um, we'd got our short list together if you like of um, what I wanted to grab in, uh, in the local CEX. Um, but on the way out, I managed to um, persuade Ghost Lou to uh, go into a couple of the charity shops. Um, he's not normally one for charity shops, but seeing as he's getting back um, into his movie collecting, chip off the old block and all that, um, he was quite happy to go into a, a couple of the charity shops. And the last charity shop we went into, I got a bumper haul. I was blown away um literally couldn't carry them all to the counter there was uh you know a nice um a, a nice big haul of them all ridiculously cheap compared to um a lot of the other local charity shops um and what i found here was the the charity shop that we got these from the lady there said ah okay we we normally get these from the other local charity shop um, when they haven't been able to sell them. Now, a lot of these, I think, are ones that me and Ghost Lou saw last weekend in that particular local charity shop, um, priced up at probably between six and 10 pound each. Um, and obviously, you know, I wasn't gonna pay that in a charity shop, um, especially when they're pretty much CX prices. Um, and yet, lo and behold today, we went into this other charity shop a little bit further afield um, and managed to get everything you see here, guys, for one pound each. So I don't um, don't tend to pick up a lot of TV series stuff. Um, obviously, my priority is horror movies, as you know. Um, but, you know, I do get the odd TV series from time to time. I've picked up the likes of Rising Damp and step toe and stuff like that before which i don't think i've shown on the channel they normally go straight onto the shelves um stuff like the american horror story on blu-ray i've picked up recently i think the first three seasons um but yeah we managed to get some tv stuff today all a pound each and i shall waffleage over and show you what we got so there we go you can see the price there guys so what we've got is um i mean myself and ghost Lou, you know we do enjoy um watching through the you know some of the cartoon tv series stuff together the likes of the simpsons um futurama family guy rick and morty and the likes rick and morty is probably the favourite out of all of them for both of us. Um, but yeah, couldn't really go wrong. Simpsons season one for uh, one English pound. So that was the first one. And then you might be able to spot a bit of a trend here, guys. We have the collector's edition season three for a pound. And we have checked all the discs. They are uh, present and correct. So there we go. And again, one pound. I won't show, I mean, you'll see I've left all the stickers on because we literally got back from town probably an hour or so ago. So um, I've had a quick uh, quick hour on uh, Black Ops 6, still um, investing plenty of time into that at the minute. Sorted myself a nice uh, cuppa and thought I'd, uh, I'd crack straight on with the video today. So season three of The Simpsons for a pound. And then season four. There we go. All of these absolutely immaculate condition. So super happy with these. So season four. So I will be keeping an eye out for the um, the filling the gaps, so to speak. Um, we then move on. Season eight. Loving the artwork on these as well. Absolutely lovely box sets. So again, immaculate. There we go. So that's season eight collector's edition and then we have season nine collector's edition so i think most of these are actually the um the re-release collector's edition apart from i think that season one was maybe the original uh dvd release so 
There we go, season nine. And then we have season 10. So myself and Ghost Lou are going to be getting plenty of um, Simpsons watching in coming up. So there we go, season 10. Again, one English pound. All right, these are all going to fall on the floor if I'm not careful. So that's that one. And a bit of uh, crusty action for season 11. So there we go, that's that one. And that's actually got like a, yeah, it's like a J card on the back, that one. So there we go. Be up season 11 for a pound. Season 12. So absolutely couldn't believe it. There was a, a crate on the floor with everything that they'd just marked down and took all of these to the counter. And the lady said, well, that was perfect time. And I've literally just put all of those out. So. Couldn't have uh, couldn't have timed it better. So there we go. Season twelve, one English pound. Season thirteen. There we go. And then again with a J card on the back, collector's edition, season fourteen. Good job we like the Simpsons, isn't it? Um, what have we got here? 15 season 15 again with the uh j card thingamajig on the back season 17 so obviously you know there's five or six seasons in between that we haven't managed to get today but you know i'll keep an eye out local cx's and again charity shops they have them quite regularly so hopefully we can get the uh the full set sorted so there we go, that is season 17. And then we move on to, show you this one first. Couldn't believe this one. Again, a pound. Seasons one to eight of Family Guy. <laughs> so you can see why I thought highway robbery. I felt, uh, like I say, like Dick Turpin when I left her. Uh, the shop so huge big uh, big carrier bag full of uh, one pound uh, TV seasons and box sets so there we go but again we've checked every single one of these and they're all nice and complete so I think CX sells this for about eight pound but uh, yeah I certainly wasn't going to leave it there for a pound and then the other one that they had Family Guy Season 16, so again, we're going to be uh, filling some gaps where we can. Brace yourself, ladies. We've got a bit of slippy slippy. There we go. But yeah, do like a bit of a uh, bit of family guy. That's that one. And then to finish, this was Blu-ray, complete season seven. Again, one pound of the, the Walking Dead season seven. Couldn't believe it. Again, absolutely pristine and complete. So wasn't going to leave that behind. I haven't got any of the other Walking Dead seasons um, back on Blu-ray since I've been recollecting. So those are going to go on the radar. And I think they're pretty much cheap as chips to pick up as well. So looking forward to um, starting re-watching those through again so there we go guys so an absolute shit ton of um, Simpsons TV series um, a big complete box set of um, Family Guy seasons 1 to 8 and uh, starting off that Walking Dead Blu-ray set as well so couldn't believe it everything a pound so I filled my boots so there we go guys let me know in the comments any um of those seasons there that uh, that you're particular fans of um like i say i'm going to keep an eye out now in the uh, the local charity shops and uh, fill the gap so i can get um complete full seasons of those um at some point down the line so there we go guys that's my video for today stay tuned probably tomorrow or monday uh, myself and Ghost Lou had a quick stop into the local CEX, um, picked up some things from there, but I thought for this video, 
um, I'd keep it just to the uh, the bumper charity shop haul and the CX stuff will uh, be incoming either tomorrow or Monday so there we go as always guys please remember to like comment and subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll be back um, over the weekend or early next week with another video bye for now guys